Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. Ooh, ouch. Clarify the Hanged Man, the Queen of Cups. Could be a Pisces in the mix here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Lessons. Yeah. Clarify Seven of Cups. Somebody's possibly letting go of a Pisces or letting go of a water sign to be able to have a new beginning in love with somebody else. Yeah. Or it doesn't have to be a Pisces. Somebody could be releasing a water sign. Yeah. For like a new relationship. Five of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles. If somebody had options, they're leaving, they're leaving, they're either ghosting their options, rejecting options, leaving their options out in the cold, something like that. Okay. Um, or they're they're making the decision to abandon something here. Say about the four of swords, the divinely guided card. Somebody was divinely guided to withdraw from something or to spend take a break from love or to heal, spend some time alone. Okay, so what's this with my collective? We have the Nine of Wands and yeah, mirroring. So maybe you and this person have both been kind of like going through this per this period of time where you guys have both been going through like a like it's been like a period of healing or withdrawal, drawal, spending time alone, healing. Yeah, and you guys are both been doing this, but. The, the cycle is almost close to being over here with the nine of wands. You're very close. It's been difficult, though. It's been a difficult cycle. Yeah, what about cold as ice? Six of swords. So, six of cups. So, maybe you were dealing with somebody that was inconsiderate towards you or cold, or they were giving you mixed signals. Um, somebody either wants to move on from, like, they don't want things to be like that between the two of you anymore. Maybe now... They want to come towards you and be a lot more like clear and direct with what they want with you with the four of wands. So I do see somebody returning to you that sent you mixed signals. You may not know where you stand with this person or where you stood with them, but it's like somebody is ready to kind of like reunite and they have commitment and like stability on their mind, possibly even marriage. Why is the queen of swords here though? Queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the ace of swords. Okay. The Page of Wands. What's that do with my collective? The Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's very clear about, you guys could have maybe even told this person, like, this is what I want. If you don't want this, then leave me alone. Or like, I'm going to, I'm pulling back. I'm distancing myself from you because um, we're just not on the same page. Somebody has made up their mind about you. It looks like, or they got, they, they gained some type of clarity. Yeah, that you are their happily ever after. Ten of Cups. You make them happy. They want a union with you. Yeah, somebody definitely is viewing you as wish fulfillment. Nine of cups, ten of cups. Yeah, somebody wants to spend time with you. They want to date you. They want to be in a relationship with you. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they want a new opportunity to kind of like actually have a real relationship with you and move forward. How does the how does my collective feel about this though? Mm, eight of Pentacles. How does my yeah in the long yeah. It's like somebody's wanting to come in and put in the work now, but you guys kind of feel like this person took too long to make the decision to actually want to work on this with you, or they've kept you waiting for a long time. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys may uh, make them wait. Yeah, we have King of Pentacles, Taurus. What about this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy? The Moon and rejection. This person, this there's a Earth sign energy here that is afraid of your rejection. What about this person? The Six of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Some, it's like that now someone has changed. Like now someone is wanting something reciprocal. In a nutshell, somebody's wanting what you used to want with them, but now that they've healed or they've been healing, now it's kind of similar to the Sag reading I did last night. It's like somebody, they've been healing and now they want that real relationship with you, but they, they, they kept you waiting for a long time. They, this is maybe what you wanted with them in the, from the beginning, and they didn't want that with you at some point. Or they were making you wait for them to give that to you. 
give me more clarity on what how my collective feels about this person yeah so maybe you guys do want to spend time with them tell me about date and mirroring so maybe you guys do want the same thing tell me about date and mirroring the page of wands okay what about page of wands the page of pentacles the eight of pentacles and rejection what about rejection the hair font oh some of you guys may want to explore the, you guys may have options like i wouldn't say it's anything too serious but you guys do have options other avenues that you will be exploring or that you are exploring and i feel like you guys may like either rejecting this person's i don't know what is how does tell me more the queen of wands aries leo sash energy and the devil the seven of pentacles the ace of wands temperance children manifesting you wants you back yeah somebody wants you i don't somebody wants you but there, what's the problem here see there's somebody in the way karmic partner also i feel like you guys you've seen something about this person that now you can't really like unsee like you guys may feel like you've seen this person's shadow side or the dark like the the darkness that they were maybe trying to hide from you and how do they feel about that or you guys found out they had a karmic partner yep look at this seven of swords you, you feel like this person deceived you either they were hiding another person from you or they were hiding some like the true them from you and now what the three of wands it's like now that they want to have more with you you don't trust this person yeah you you feel like you need to have your guard up with them yeah what about justice wishing the king somebody's wishing to have a reconciliation with you or to make be able to make something right with you but they definitely have been taking their time with bringing this to you what about the emperor death emperor and death they there's been some oh they've been transitioning they've been slowly leveling up into to an emperor they hurt you though yeah they, they definitely possibly put you in a third party situation there's that king of pentacles again it kept you waiting for some of you they yeah they kept you waiting while they were entertaining other options or while they were dealing with somebody else wow so again how does my so something's changing here in what way Sag and Pisces energy money focus what about money focus you guys just don't like you're not focused on the same things that you used to be focused on now maybe before you were really focused on being in a relationship and finding somebody to be with and settle down with now you guys can be more money focused or something like that yeah now it's like somebody's all, almost going to be chasing you because they feel like you're everything that they want and you guys are going to be chasing a bag or something like that tell you about money focus nine of swords somebody's stressed out about money Ooh, what about sexual encounter what's that somebody wants to know oh somebody's stressed out about you sleeping with somebody else why are they, why is that what they're focused on because five of cups why are they focused on who you are sleeping with what about the five of wands the four of pen they feel this person are they, are they not wanting to fight for you is that the problem the three of pentacles and the six of wands yeah the three of ooh, this this is crazy this person's almost projecting onto you because they like to get a lot of attention from other people they like to maybe sleep with more than one person or that's who they were so they're projecting all of this when you're, when they're not talking to you or when they're distant from you they're projecting everything that they're doing during that time onto you so if you're not speaking to them or you're focused on other things like you're not focused on them you're not giving them your attention or oh they must be sleeping with somebody else Oh, they must be giving that attention to somebody else now. It's almost, it's like that. That's not even almost, it is like that. Um. So what else do they need to know about this situation, Lord? There it is again. This person's afraid of your rejection. Because I think if you, you're with somebody else or, you know, you don't take them back or you ignore them. 
Yeah, justice. What about justice? Waiting on what? See, this person's wanting you to come towards them first because they're afraid of the rejection that they may face if they come towards you first. But I feel like this is, they need to be the one to make things right. Yeah, why does date keep coming out? The devil. Justice, date. What is the devil? Capricorn energy. Magician. Somebody's obsessing about getting you back making something right with you dating you okay then why are they not doing anything right now six of pentacles what's happening what's the problem if that's how they're what they're obsessing over they're taking their time why mm, they want to be able to have a solid foundation before they come towards you yeah it's i mean that's good maybe you guys told this person that if it's not balanced you don't want it if it's not reciprocal and they can't give to you the way that you give to them then you don't want them back, but they're over there stressed out because they feel like while well, they're not in a place to be able to have something totally balanced with you, but the longer they're away from you, you're probably sleeping with other people. You're probably dating other people. You're probably spending time with other people, but like, this person's stressed out. Yeah. What? 12, 12 on the camera. What's taking so long? What is this? Like, what's the problem here? Well, we have the knight of swords. What about the Knight of Swords? There might, things are maybe about to split speed up, though. Somebody's getting jealous, guys. I'm telling you, somebody is feeling like you've been away too long. You haven't been giving them your attention. You've been focused on other things way too, like, maybe you guys would normally not be able to stay away from this person for a certain amount of time, right? I mean, just say this is the longest you've ever gone without talking to them. They're over there get they're stressed out, losing sleep because they're wondering what are you doing because you're not giving them your attention. I don't know if this person thought that they could put you on hold or if they thought that you would just be there waiting or they thought you would be back. That's kind of what it's giving here. And um, you're not doing that. <laughs> so because you don't trust this person, you guys found out about either they had another person or they had options. Kind of cannot be trusted. They may rush in because they're starting to get worried and jealous. And they are regretful. Or this person does have regrets because now they know you don't trust them. Six of Cups. Yeah, what about Six of Cups? The Three of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. What's that do with you? All I know, guys, is that somebody's going to be wanting to reconcile with you. And I think that they're rushing in. It looks like prematurely because they think that you're moving on. You're, you're dealing with other people. You have options. And they don't like that. And I think you guys are going to be conflicted about whether or not you want to reunite with this person or not. What do they need to know about reuniting with them? Oop, the tower. What about the tower? Scorpio energy. Undecided. I think this is going to maybe catch you off guard. Either it's going to be a tower moment for this person that you are not going to just take them right back. Or... It's going to be a tower when this person comes in because you're not expecting it when they do. They're going to kind of just come in out of the blue. Yeah, what about healing, though? Taming hunger. Tame. Yeah, it's almost like if you guys do end up rejecting this person, it is going to be a tower moment for them. And I think that this is actually what needs to happen for them to finally make some type of choice here or to, to, to make the decision to grow up. Because there's somebody here. What is the hanged man and the queen of cups? The page of cups okay and the lovers they have a choice that they have to make there's a choice here about love or who they're gonna have a like a who they're gonna offer a cup to or something like that tell me about this choice they have to make yeah to a swords that they've been what is who, what is the other situation it's another person yeah what about oh they're making up their mind though why because you rejecting them because you don't need them it's almost like they're it, what's making them finally make a choice here, even if they're not 100% ready, is you have gotten to this point where you don't need them. So, like, you're perfectly okay standing on your own. If they're not acting right or they're not bringing enough to the table, you're perfectly fine with staying away from them or rejecting them. Maybe it didn't, maybe before you used to try to compromise with them and bear with them and give them the benefit of the doubt and stuff like that. You guys are in this energy now where, like, you don't feel like you need them. And I, I think that they don't like that you're single and available and like embracing that single life, possibly even dating. And I think that it's making them feel like they need to make that make up their mind. They were having a really hard time making this decision, though. Why are they? What, what is the other situation? What, what is how do I say this? What are they getting out of the other situation that there is so hard for them to choose the nine of cups? What are they? 
the Queen of Swords, and the King of Cups. What's the Nine of Cups? The Seven of Swords. Maybe they feel like they weren't deceived. What about the Seven of Swords? Ripped apart. Vulnerable in love. Love exposes the truth that what? That they didn't really love this other person. I think it's... But, so why are they holding on to him then? Ooh. Yeah, what about this King of Pentacles? What? Why are they holding on for sex? What is what, what are they holding on to that person for? Past actions and consequences. Maybe that was their karma or what was going on with that? Maybe that person, it was a karmic lover. Why were, uh, first, it looks like sex, guys. I'm not going to lie. For some of you, it wasn't even just one person. It could have, I don't know. It was like this person... They were, there were things hidden from you. I think they were hiding either one person from you or the fact that this person liked to sleep around. Like, they liked to have options and I wouldn't even say love, like options, like sexual, multiple sexual partners. Mm -hmm. Some, they, it's either they had a choice between you and somebody else or they had a choice between being single and like, and doing, you know, sleeping around and being with you. I also feel that for some of you, they tried to have their cake and eat it too. So they thought they could have you and then also have this other situation. They're realizing that what they thought was going to bring them fulfillment and happiness doesn't bring, it's like, it doesn't bring them that fulfillment and happiness anymore. I feel like since they actually met somebody that they have genuine love and like feelings for, which is you, let's see, but they still aren't making up their mind. It could be because of fear of rejection. Well, right as I'm saying that, yeah, this, right as I'm literally saying that, it says unspoken love. They've been carrying a torch to you all alone, but un unable to confess their love due to the fear of rejection. So, yeah. Confirmation. Yeah, they're an emotionally unavailable, too. They are emotionally unavailable. It's for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. Maybe that's what you guys are doing. And they're getting stressed out because you could be finding your happiness again. You could be feeling better. Like just say you were sad over this person. You were grieving them for a long time. You could be getting out there again and you're not in a rut anymore. And I think it's stressing this person out. You came out of that divine blueprint. They are going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection. Yeah, this person has a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Their heart is overflowing with love so much that it scares them because their love for you has no end. Dark night. Mm. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. For some of you, that already happened where you rejected them. And I think it did maybe send them into like, you withdrew, like you guys withdrew from each other. They've been going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, mixed signals. Because they were that already came out, didn't it? Yeah. That cloudy, somebody wasn't sure if they wanted to be with you or not. So tell me more. We have unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in, in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. Tell me more. Divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. Hmm. Endings. What's the endings mean for my collective? Beauty and grace. Okay. So the rival. Are they ending things with a rival? What, have, what about this rival? Grieving. They are stuck in grief. So are they grieving? The, oh, their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. They chose somebody over you because they, they didn't feel good enough for you. So they maybe chose somebody that they did feel good enough for or that didn't make them feel as small. That's all I can say. So there was an ending that occurred between you and this person. They were, I think they were more, they were more focused on building a solid foundation or something. Like they were more focused on money, career, stability, which is fine, right? But... What are they grieving? Passion? What are they grieving? They feel like it's hard to stay away from you. So they could there could have been an ending, but they feel like they're grieving you. What in the world? Let's wrap this up so I can take this over to the extended reading. Let's tie this reading together. What is going on with their twin? Like, because this person's all over the place. I don't know if they're finally ready to let somebody go because that's what it's looking like to me. Like they're finally ready to let somebody go. 
that they maybe weren't releasing or they couldn't make up their mind to release is what I'm seeing here. For some of you, they just had options. Like it wasn't, I mean, it, I don't know. I know I've been saying this for weeks and weeks, but there's like this person, this energy that keeps coming through in the collective of somebody that is literally committed to one person. If you could even call it commitment, married or in living with somebody, but they also have other people that entertain too. Or this person just has a lot of options. Definitely likes attention, but we have glow up here. I feel like this is you guys. Did I just say this? It says overcoming illness and negativity, feeling confident and being on the right path in life, connecting with others, positive vibes and new phase in life. That's you. You guys know how to glow up. And now what? Yeah, you guys are rebuilding your life. I don't know. Starting over, but better than ever. Moving forward with hard work and communication. Being honest with one's feelings and aspirations for the connection. Leo, I was... See? This person likes attention. Right as I was, I was saying that. Leo energy. I was used to being the central focus of everyone's attention. But your magnetism outweighed mine. And I was insecure about that. Wow. Maybe this person felt like you didn't give them the attention that they were used to. Yeah, I feel like you, it's like something about you, you didn't stroke this person's ego or something like that. It's, but it says soulmate, I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person, not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. Okay. Yeah, this person is thinking about you sexually. I, I was picking up on that. Sexually fantasizing about you, strong you to be physically near, and undeniable sexual desires driven by instincts, Lord. Yeah, and odious opinions. I was foolish to believe the opinions of others. I should have trusted my heart more than what others thought of. Did this person think you were sleeping with other people? Or were people telling them you were sleeping with other people? What in the world is this? This person felt like you were giving your attention to other people. You are that they, and it could have been because there were people saying, oh, they, they, they have options. They're talking to other people. They're not just dealing with you. Please forgive me for doubting our connection. Give me a few more because what? Settling. So, yep, they chose to settle. No, but no, definitely not what? Virgo? No, definitely not what? This person doesn't have their life together. I'm telling you, they don't unsatisfied and feels alone while with someone your wants needs and desires are being chronically unmet accepting less than what you deserve and that doesn't exactly sit right with you i think this person felt some type of way because you guys wouldn't settle for them like that's kind of what i'm getting to yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i feel like this person felt some type of way because you made you like you were like no what you're offering if anything is not good enough for me and i think that that made this person feel some type of way you wanted something balanced and reciprocal yeah i already picked up on that it's like this person just wanted you to settle for them while they kept you waiting and they weren't even really they were out there doing the most possibly sleeping with other people dealing with another person they wanted you to settle for breadcrumbs. And when you did it, you were like, no, definitely not. Yeah. I'm trying to balance the scales of my life and our connection. I took from you more than you were able to give. And I used you for my own benefit. I now understand this was unhealthy and unfair to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, this person, give me one more. Wordless. Now they don't know what to say to you. Okay, let's do one more. Family ties. And we have small. Guys, I cannot make this up. I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. I See, I took forever. See, they were trying to breadcrumb you and it says, could have been dealing with the Taurus. I took forever and making up my mind about our connection. Instead of speaking to you, I would run away and indulge in unnecessary pleasures in order to ignore my feelings. They were they were giving you breadcrumbs while they were over there trying to ignore their feelings for you and indulging in in sleep with other people doing something doing i don't know indulging in something that wasn't good wow could have been dealing with a trauma bond or something like that like they would go back to a trauma bond for some of you or somebody that was just as toxic as them wow yep 
it's almost like you made this person feel inadequate wow this is all coming together now when you guys told this person that they didn't have enough to offer you they they tried to like they went to a third party they tried to make you feel the way you made them feel by choosing somebody over them over you because they were mad that you made them they you made this person feel inadequate when you didn't accept their crumbs right so it says i made you feel inadequate because i chose someone over you i regret the pain i have caused you due to my selfishness my physical needs you didn't deserve being treated as an option it's almost like this person was at some point purposely making you wait and purposely giving their attention to other people and not choosing you because they were they were trying to spite you or something because they were mad that you made them feel small and like what they had to offer you if anything wasn't enough but it wasn't they wanted you to settle for them and when you did it they got mad like when you didn't settle they got mad And they would like stop giving any, it's crazy. We have December 22nd through February 6th. That's the present moment. Somebody wants your forgiveness at this moment. Somebody regrets doing this to you. I've missed the family we created or the family that, that could have been. I realized I made a mistake by walking away from my happiness. You are my life partner, my other half, and my confidant. So instead of like stepping up and giving you what you deserve, they got, they felt spited by that, but by the fact that you didn't accept what they were offering you at the time. And they could have went and get, tried to give their crumbs to somebody else or they they went and they started dealing with somebody else that they have a trauma bond with or that they felt was more on their level or similar to them, just as toxic as them. Yeah. But they want your, they're in regret now for doing this. They may even try to make it seem like when you're like, oh, you don't have enough to offer me. They're like, whatever, fine. I'll go, you know have a nice life like they try to act like they didn't care but they regret this now it says forgiveness letting go of emotional burdens key to healing and growth and connection acknowledging your feelings and that of your twin yeah you guys may hear from this person in the spring or something like that or they're they you may even hear from them in the winter time but it says i'm seeking your forgiveness even if i can't utter the words i'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly but i'm hoping i can quite quiet my guilt they feel, feel guilty for doing this to you they didn't like that they weren't good enough for you. They weren't offering you enough, but they didn't like that you you called them out on that or that you didn't settle. That's all I can really say. All right. Wow. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, wow, they chose somebody else over you to spite you. Um, all that did was land them in turmoil, guys, because we had tumultuous lives or whatever that card was. That landed them right in turmoil. And regret now too, and all those negative feelings. But anyway, and all those negative feelings. But anyway, and all.